Hey, it's your favorite ethnic twin here, reporting to you for the first time from my dorm room. And today is going to be the start of my first series, which is labeled Guys. Because obviously, I'm the expert, and for those of you who don't know me, that I'm exactly the opposite on the expert of Guys. This is mostly going to be observation, not really factual information at all. But the first subcategory of this topic is rolling necks. Rolling necks has to do with the phenomena, it seems, that guys think that girls are flattered when they make really, how should I say, barbaric attempts to get their attention, like rolling necks. You saw that? That was not cute. But that's that's literally all I get around here. If you don't know, I recently just moved to New York. I'm going to Parsons studying fashion design. And New York is very different from where I used to live, which is Middletown. In Middletown, rolling necks was the worst part. Literally, guys, you'd pass by and they would just be like, and stare at you the entire time. Not in New York. <laughs> in New York, they will actually come up to you, stand right next to you, and be like, Damn, you look good today. Or, can I get your number? Or something like that. And it's really... Well, I mean, unfortunately, you start to get used to it. But it's just... I can't even... And it's not only in New York. Philly is a really good representation. Because in New York, you can kind of see it coming. Like, you see them looking at you, and then they start coming towards you and start making their approach. But in Philly, it's out of nowhere. All of a sudden, someone's just all up on you, all in your ear, and you just never see it coming in Philly. So, yeah, Philly is kind of scarier. And... Apparently in Pittsburgh, this happens all the time because Michelle is always saying this trucker guy just yelled at me from outside the window or something like that. I mean, it really happens everywhere, but just in different degrees. Usually the worst is in the city. So the thing about rolling necks is that even though, even as irritating, as annoying, as unnerving as it may make you feel there's always this little piece of every girl that is flattered by it and it's totally it sounds totally wrong and totally disgusting but it's true and if you're if you're a girl and you're saying that it's not true then you're a liar because we've all experienced it. If you're with a bunch of friends and a guy singles out one of your girlfriends and not you, as disgusting as he may be, you know that you're going to be jealous because you want someone to acknowledge that you look good. Because, I mean, I know I look good, so I don't really get left out of those scenarios, but it's, it kind of is a confidence booster. It's flattering in the most sick and disgusting way. But that being said, I don't know who ever put the idea into someone's mind that if you holler at someone and say, damn, baby, you look good today, or something like that, it's going to make them stop and give you their number or be like, oh, you should take me out tonight. No, they're going to be like, get away from me, asshole, or creep, or something like that, because it's rude on... Yeah, mostly it's just rude. Like, I'm trying to go someplace, trying to get to class, someone's all up in my face, it's annoying. Like, I'm waiting for the day that guys realize that you get much farther with real compliments. Because it has, it'll have the same effect, if not more of an effect, of that confidence booster if you just come up and be like, oh, you look really nice today, like in a non-creepy kind of way. But if you're freaking 80 years old, don't come up to me and just be like, oh, you, you look very nice. Like, you, like, even if you don't mean it to be creepy, if you're way too old, it's just going to be creepy. 
it's just going to be creepy. So just, like, smile and then walk away. And then if somehow we're in a conversation, then you could be like, oh, you look really nice today. But if you go out of your way to tell someone who's, like, a quarter of your age they look nice, it's automatically creepy. It doesn't matter. But if a guy would just walk up to me and be like, oh, you look really nice, or uh, your shoes are very nice, or something like that. I mean, some people might say, oh, that means that he's gay, or something like that. Everyone in New York is very metro, so, like, even the straightest guys are, are you know, they're fashionable, they're, they're like, 10% girl. There's, there's no 100% guy in New York, I don't think, but... It, it goes a long way to just not be a creep and not be a complete and total asshole when you see a girl that you think looks nice. And if it has anything to do with boobs or ass or something that you're in your sentence, keep it to yourself. You can appreciate it, you know, if they put it out there appreciate it but appreciate it in your heart or appreciate it amongst your guy friends because nobody wants to be hollered at in the street it's it's just it it's just too much nobody likes it nobody wants it keep stop rolling your necks because all all you guys are going to be wearing collars very soon it's just annoying but yeah but everyone has had those rolling neck moments and uh, let let it, me know what you guys think about it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is someone who genuinely, genuinely can't stand when guys roll necks, basically. But I guarantee that there's always that little, little inkling of you that gets a bit flattered. That doesn't mean do it. If you're a guy that's watching, don't effing do it. Because one day I might work up the nerve to slap someone, and it might be you, because this is a small world, so don't effing do it. <clears throat> well, that was my short little segment today. If you have any questions or comments, comment below or email us at ethnictwins at gmail.com. I would love to know what you guys feel about it. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Bye!